thinking about using Loom to record your YouTube videos? I get it, it's fast, it's easy and convenient, but is it the right tool and is it gonna produce good quality videos for your channel? Before you hit record, there are definitely a few things that you should know. Hey, it's Arit here from Esatino Media. I'm a YouTube strategist for business owners and in today's video, we're gonna talk about when Loom is a good option for YouTube versus when it's not and also what settings you need to have in place so that if you are using this tool, you're gonna to get the best results. So let's dive in. So let's first look at the pros of using Loom for your YouTube videos. First thing I wanna say that Loom is great for quick educational videos because as we know, you're able to record yourself uh, yourself on the camera, but also your screen. And you can do a combination of those things. So whether you just want to be on screen in your YouTube videos, you can do this, like just talking to the camera, or if you wanna to switch to a mode where you're showing the screen and yourself on, on the off to the side, you can do that with Loom as well. So if you have a quick tip that you wanna share with someone in a YouTube video, you can hit record on the Loom and record it. It's also great for, you know, if you wanna do minimal video editing um, and you just can talk on the fly without pausing, then you can just hit record talk, 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 and then hit end, and then you, you can release that as your YouTube video. Loom does have very simple editing capabilities, meaning you can trim certain pieces out of the video. Another cool feature is that you can use the script to scroll through and see what words you wanna cut out, and then when you cut that out of the script, it will cut out that piece from the video for you. So, and that's with the paid plan. You can't do that with the free plan. So again, this is why it's ideal for quick videos you just wanna knock out, record, and release. It's also great for walkthrough videos or presentations. Maybe you have slides on the screen. Maybe you're showing your, your web browser and you wanna show how to use a particular platform or tool. And for those who want just a simple workflow, like one-click recording, let's knock it out, let's go, let's talk, and that's it, you're done. That's what this tool is great for. But again, you, I'm gonna mention what settings to have in place so that you are doing, um, you are making sure that you have great quality video to download at the end so that you could upload that to YouTube. Now, let's talk about some of the cons or the downside. With the free plan of Loom, you can only go up to 720p resolution. And it's always best to have at least 1080p when you're recording. Loom can definitely not do like 4K resolution or anything like that. So if you are someone who, you know, high production quality is super important for what you're doing and the types of videos that you're creating, then Loom is not gonna be the option for you. And the reason why that matters, you know, that resolution matters. If you're doing 720p, it can look a little bit blurry sometimes or pixelated, especially if you're showing like details on screen and you're showing something in particular and there's small writing and everything. So that's something to keep in mind. So that's why if you are gonna go with Loom to film your videos, I do recommend getting a paid plan so that you can have at least the 1080p, the higher resolution and a little bit more of a crisp video. The other thing to keep in mind is that Loom allows you to right away share it to YouTube, but I don't recommend that because there is some compression that happens when you do that. So I recommend filming the video, downloading the file and uploading it separately to the YouTube platform. The other big thing as well with the free plan, you're gonna have a watermark, Loom's watermark on your videos and you're limited to five minutes per recording. So definitely, you know, if you're gonna be recording uh, longer videos than five minutes, and you wanna have your own branding, right? You don't wanna have be promoting Loom all over the place with all of your videos, then that's something to keep in mind. Again, this is why if you are gonna go with Loom and do like those quick educational videos as a, you know, using this as a tool for filming for now, then I do recommend doing the paid version. Let's quickly talk about editing capabilities. Uh, so I wanna show you quickly here, I'm in a video that I filmed and I'm going to, again, I have the paid plan because um, you'll need that for this piece. If I wanna go to the edit settings here, you can see I have a number of options. So I can edit the video, I can snip a trim and stitch certain pieces out. I can remove silences, remove filler words, all this kind of stuff. But 
this is an AI, these are some AI tools that I haven't really used myself. What I have used a lot is the trim piece. So if I'm just gonna click on that and show you, you'll see that you can do some really just simple editing where you can just trim out a certain piece or you can click to that part in the video and then you can, or let's say, you know, you wanna delete what you said here, you would highlight it, you would hit delete, it will cut that part out of the video um, and then you can play it back to make sure it's a clean cut. There's, you know, other little things that you could do here, add text, overlay and that sort of thing. But if you're someone who really wants like a polished video edit look, that type of thing, then Loom has limited editing capabilities for that. I would only recommend using Loom's editor if, again, you are you have some quick tips, tutorials, that kind of thing to share. You're gonna speak to the camera, knock out a few videos, and maybe trim or take out certain pieces. But for high production, maybe you know with switching to B-roll and transitions and all this kind of stuff, you're gonna to need to use a different editing software for that. And we use Camtasia. Uh, there's a whole playlist on Camtasia on our YouTube channel that you can dive into, but that's just something to keep in mind. Now, once you do have the Loom paid plan, you want to make sure that your settings are in the right place to film higher quality videos. So the first thing you want to do is once you have the extension installed, when you click on that, which I'm doing right now to show you, and you go to more and settings, you wanna make sure that it's on 1080p because it does have a 720 function here. So make sure this video quality is set to 1080p when you're filming, before you're filming. The other thing to note is when you click on the extension and you wanna start recording here, you can choose between different recording options. So again, whether you just wanna record the screen, you would click on full screen mode, whether you want to be on camera and show your screen so it'll put you in the corner here um, and record your screen at the same time. You really want to make sure that your camera and your microphone are set to the correct one. So before recording your YouTube videos, what I recommend is hit the record, do a test, and then go play it back to make sure that those are the right that's the right camera, the right microphone, you're happy with it, and then you go back and record the actual video. And I haven't done a full how-to Loom tutorial on this channel yet, but if that's something that you want to see, actually step-by-step -step how to record a video with Loom, then let me know in the comments below. And then the final piece is once you've stopped the recording, you've finished your video, you're going to head back to your library area and then click on the three dots on the video, and then that's where you can download the video and then upload it to YouTube separately on the platform. So if you found this video helpful, please do hit the like button to let people know that this is good content and head down to the description for some extra YouTube related resources that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.